for me, the art process is a very dynamic one. It deals with introspection. A lot of it is uh, self-realization. I don't know what I'm capable of doing until I do it. And the process uh, allows for that. I came to Rochester in 1969. My first uh, one-person show was at the Memorial Art Gallery. And uh, out of that exhibition, uh, one of the pieces was purchased by the museum. So that's my first connection um, you know, with them. Albert stands atop in terms of, of artists working not only in Rochester but throughout the world. So that was one of our criteria and it was very important for us from the very beginning to include works of artists working in Rochester. Let's position this piece and weld it on and then we'll do some heating and bending. Hold it there so I can see what it looks like. Albert is doing a major installation in New York City in 2013 we became aware of that project. We looked at some of the proposals. There was one that caught our eye. The piece will be stainless steel, so it'll have a, uh, a satin uh, silver finish. It's over 20 foot tall, so it becomes a uh, visual uh, kind of landmark as you're driving down the University or uh, Goodman Street. We thought this gesture not only enabled us to, uh, to think anew for the Centennial, a Centennial Sculpture Park, but also underscore that commitment to Rochester. Memorial Art Gallery is one of the major cultural institutions. I think the timing was right, and especially making it for their 100th anniversary, it just seems very, um, you know, very appropriate. Specifically with this piece, the title uh, came to me of Soliloquy. Obviously, that's a dialogue that you have with yourself. Hopefully when you go to a museum that you're experiencing something you've never experienced before. This fold in metal that I use a lot is kind of a trompe l'oeil aspect of indicating motion. My work isn't kinetic, but I think that you're experiencing the interplay of form and the dynamism of forms. Basically, a design process is very simple. It's defining a problem and then solving a problem. Usually I go through a bank of several hundred drawings. Then they go into a model making stage like cardboard models that show the three-dimensional nature. At that point, metal considerations happen, structural engineering happens. Public sculpture and outdoor sculpture, there's a lot of different concerns that you have there. One is the context spatially. How does it relate to landscape design? How does it relate to the building? The other aspect of scale is human scale. What's it like when somebody walks up to it? Is it just big and overpowering? Or is there an intimacy that can be shared? So when you're walking up to the piece, it continually unfolds. And also it creates a sense of place. The whole aspect of the sculpture park is to engage the public. And people can share that. They can walk through it and have that experience and hopefully come in and see the other collection. A production of the University of Rochester. Please visit us online and subscribe to our channel for more videos.